Hi everyone, um, I just wanted to come on and say how I've been thinking about buying a new camera for a very long time now. Um, I've always had Canon cameras. Um, I've got a couple of Canon 7Ds, which has an excellent, been an excellent camera for me. But um, I've been do doing a lot more videos and stuff um, lately, so. The Canon 7D is um, very good for videos, but just getting a little bit old now, um, the autofocus and stuff on it is not as good as the new cameras. So the 7D has had its day. It, oh, I won't be getting rid of it. It's still a great camera for just taking photos and videos, but I've finally gone out and bought a new camera. I've been looking around and checking out new cameras and asking different people and, um, what to get. A lot of people say, oh, you should buy a Sony because the Sony cameras now are so good with video. Um, so that's the, one of the main purposes I'm after a new camera. But after um, a lot of checking and everything, I have gone with A new Canon R7. I've gone with the new R7 over the um, Sony because the main reason I, I did end up going, I've always had Canon, so I'm very familiar with Canon cameras, but I can use a lot of my Canon lenses with a new camera. If I went with a Sony, I'd have to buy all new lenses if I want um, different lenses and stuff. So with the Canon R7, another purchase, I've just bought the mount adapter, the Canon mount adapter, so I can mount that to the R7 and use my, original, my all my Canon lenses, which I've got a number of lenses. So that was a big um, part of going with the R7. So I'm pretty happy. I'm just gonna unpack it, check it out, and start using it, learn how to use it, and learn all the new settings and everything. So here is my first camera purchase for a long time, the Canon EOS. R7. What it looks like. Christmas. Warranty card. Manual, which they all come with all that. Comes with a, a new strap, the R7 strap, which is so good on the cameras. I always put the strap on because when you're walking around you can just let the camera go when it's around your neck and you're not going to drop it. Um, a lot of times I do hold the camera like that but just to have that second safety, just to have the strap, it's a good idea. So I've got the strap. Oh, new battery pack, cord. Battery only comes with one battery, so there's another good thing. They are the same batteries that fit the 7D, so I've got a number of them batteries. So that's that's another plus for the R7. Wow, the R7 compared to my 7D, a lot more compact, a lot lighter, mirrorless compared to mirror camera. So this will be so much better on uh, the gimbal, a lot lighter. The Canon 7D is a little bit heavy on my gimbal. Um, but it still works, but this will make the gimbal work a lot better. 
So there's the camera. And I did buy it as a, a pack. So it comes with, with this. Comes with a lens. Canon. Eighteen to one fifty, so it comes with a lens. So that's what I thought. Yes, I'll just buy it the camera pack with a lens. So I've got at least one lens for it. And like I said before, I bought the adapter so I can use all these other lenses. Like yeah, I've got a seventeen fifty five on there. So that's. The lens that comes with it, so I'll just I'll move the box out of the road for now. Got the cap on for the camera on the seat on these this um, R7. It's got the red spot there. Just line the red spots up. Click. And very light, brand new R7. So happy with this. I reckon I'll really enjoy using this. And got the flip out screen, everything. So the new set R7 compared to my old 7D. The 7D has been a great, faithful camera. And it's had a um, a couple of these over the years, they're fantastic, a lot heavier, I'm not sure how to the weight, but the weight is so much different. So, out with the old, in with the new 7R, sorry, R7. So, as I said just before, Another reason why I went for the Canon over the Sony was because I only have to buy an adapter for the R7 to use the lenses I've been using for my 7D. So I did buy the adapter today, which I thought was a good investment for, I think it was $199. So I've got the adapter so I can use all my other lenses so all you have to do for that, I'll just remove the lens off there. Put the adapter red dot to red dot on the camera. The, I've got some red dot lenses, some with the white dot, so this one is not compatible to the R7 without the adapter. So, adapter's on. Line the white dots up now, not the red dots. And, I can go ahead and use the le existing lenses, Canon lenses, I already have. So that's a big bonus. So, just with a $200 adapter, I save a lot of money with the Canon R7 by using my lenses and um, if, like I said, if I bought the Sony I would have had to buy new lenses over time and probably um, sell off my Canon lenses so yes, that's another reason why I have gone with the R7. Bought a couple other things. I bought, obviously you need a memory card so I bought a 128 gigabyte memory card, which the R7, another good feature, has two memory card slots, so I've got to buy at least one more memory card, probably I'll end up buying a couple more probably, but they, same again, $149, they're quite expensive, they go right up to $500, but have to have that. And I bought, a filter just for the fit on the new lens. Uh, a lot of people say you don't need a filter. I always put a filter on because if you do happen to drop the camera, whack on the lens, the, 
I bought a good quality one for a hundred dollars. It does save the smash in the lens, so yes, it's just a um, plain filter to fit on the end just to protect the lens because it is a big investment. So for ninety nine dollars, I think it's well worth it. So that's all my purchases for today. I'm pretty happy. I can't wait to get out and start using the R7. And as I said, I still will be using the 7D. I just really enjoy that still, but now I've got some options with a little bit better video and a lighter camera. So can't wait to get out in the field and start using it.